it's just a very quick video on the Zeplos battery packs or the BMS and yeah, I have four of them stacked together and in the bottom I have the 10C version of the BMS, so the older one and at the top there is the 10E version, so that's version 2 of their BMS, at the bottom there's version 1 and there's also version 3 available, but 3 is not compatible with, with uh, version 1 or 2. Um, but if you want to make it work with the newer 10E BMS and the older 10C BMS, there's something you have to know. Well, first you have to get all the address and the dip switching correctly set. But then you have to set one parameter here that is very important. Automatic address coding. You have to set that to off so that it takes the coding here in the front. Only if you do that, then it will work. And well, the master can be the 10 EBMS, but it could also be the 10 CBMS, the older one. So it doesn't really matter which one is the master. And it's very important that you use the firmware version 2.8 on this older BMS and for a newer one I have 16.6 .6 now but I think it also works with 16.4. Um, I mean you could also use the, the version 2.9 for the older ones but it has so many design flaws and it doesn't really calculate the state of charge correctly um, and all the settings that you need I will put on the screen now and you should be able to see yeah, make sure you get the addressing correct. For example, I have four packs now. So I have set that to four. And I made this whole Excel spreadsheet where you can see all these parameters. Um, I will make it available for you, I try at least. And if you set the parameters correctly the way I have set it, you won't get any problems. And I also have the parameters for the version 3 BMS. And I tested all of that out. And here I worked with the firmware version 16.4. Testing all of that, but I didn't figure any difference to 16.6. .6. So for the 10E version, it doesn't really matter which firmware you are on. And in the spreadsheet, I go over all the settings, all the green ones are the ones that I changed compared to what was set as default. And in orange there's always a little explanation of what the settings really mean. Yeah. And how to reset the state of charge when the battery is full and how to balance correctly. All of these settings influence the whole performance of the battery pack. I hope that was helpful and for some of you, you can really improve your performance and you don't really need a smart shunt when you set up everything correctly as per my spreadsheet, then yeah, you won't have any trouble in your system.